that are new to my channel welcome i appreciate the love all right so let's make sure you subscribe and then click the reminder button so that you know when i upload my latest videos okay so you already know i'm getting ready to make some smarter chicken all right so let's get started all right y'all y'all already know this smother chicken it's not gonna cook itself, all right? So, let me tell you guys what we're using here for our ingredients, all right? So, this is how I make my smothered chicken, okay? This is a couple of few simple ingredients. I like to add bell pepper and onions to mine. And then I got some uh, fresh rosemary that I wanna add into it as well, uh, so it doesn't go bad. And, um, and plus, it's a, good, it's a nice flavor to the chicken. And then you wanna get yourself a whole chicken. I've already gone in and cut my chicken in, into uh, eight pieces here, so, uh, we're going to uh, use a, uh, so a whole chicken. Now, you can use whatever parts of the chicken that you want. You can use legs or you can use wings. It's all up to you. All right? So that's what I'm doing here, okay? So we're going to need our flour. Now, the flour is because we're going to um, we're gonna have to flour your chicken because we're going to have to fry it to give it a little flash fry to give it this crispiness skin on the outside, which helps with the part of the gravy part. Uh, aka the smothered chicken it's just gravy and chicken <laughs> so we got a flour and i'm going to season my flour with a little bit of lauris i don't know why i like saying that like that uh well i do know why from the bad boy movies but anyway so we got some onion powder and we got some black pepper and we got some garlic that we're going to add to that or also so i got a friend that i work with um his name is alex and he lives in texas and he, uh, he likes, he subscribed to my show. He's my guy. And he sent me some of these rubs. This uh, Chipotle, I'm, I'm going to know I'm going to jack it up. Uh, Chipotle Cabra rub. Chipotle Cabra rub. <laughs> but I get what I'm saying. My son told me how to say it. And he said it's some type of folk, folk uh, lord or something. But anyway, I like it. Look at that. Look what that looks like. Look at that. All those seasonings and flavors in there. All right, so we're going to season that, this with the chicken, all right? All right, and then to help with the um, gravy part of it, we're going to do uh, use a chicken bouillon powder, okay? Um, now, you can uh, have your, uh, use some chicken broth if you like, but you just put this in with chicken, add it in your water. I'll show you, all right? So, let's get started. All right, so first we need to cut our onion all right now i'm using this old school knife i found this set i found a knife set um, at a um farm state sale in my area and they had this vintage knife set look like it's from i want to say maybe the 70s just by the design of it it's a chicago cutlery but whoever had this knife set boy they was sharpening the heck out these knives <laughs> <laughs> but they are, and they still shot. I just told you guys, this one, they was getting down. But when you're a cook, you like collecting things like that. I like collecting appliances and kitchenware, okay? Oh, by the way, and then look, oh, check out the old school masher I found there. Look at that. And then the old school spatula. Uh, not spatula, but whisk. Right? Cool. All right, enough of that. Let me, now, see, now I got, I went, got ahead of myself. I'll be back. I need some new gloves. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, so you want to um, slice your bell pepper. Now you want to flip it over. Trust me, it's easier to cut it this way, all right? Then I just do little strips, okay? And I ain't trying to get all fancy, you know. Just cut the way you're comfortable with cutting, all right? You've done it for a while, you know, you, you start to experience the flow of it. Cutting, all right? So we're just gonna cut these like this, all right? And I got another one here. So I'll cut that open and you're gonna take out the core of it. And 
place it to the side. And then I'm gonna shake some of these seeds out. Alright, we just wanna put that over. This knife is really sharp. I'm sharpening it a couple times, but didn't really need to. I it's just I had just bought a nice knife sharpener and I was testing it out. Alright, so you guys see what I'm doing here, okay? All right, y'all. So we're gonna get this seasoning with this uh, chupa cabra. <laughs> I'm still working. On it. I'm telling you, this seasoning is bomb. I already tested it out. So we're just gonna give a generous coat, and you can certainly use whatever seasoning you want. You can put some uh, Maori's and seasoned salt and pepper on it. But since I have this, I'm experimenting with different flavors. Woo! Hey, Excuse me. It's peppery. I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't sneeze into anything. I put the face to the side. All right, so I don't want to overdo it because it does have a nice uh, blend of seasonings there. And I don't want this to be the overpowering factor of it because you want that um, smothered chicken and gravy taste also, alright, so, alright, so I'm going to put this to the side, and I'm going to let that sit for a minute, and then I'm going to do the uh, flour uh, mix, alright, so I'm going to put my chicken over here, next to my preheated oil over there, um, I've got it already set and ready to go, um, you don't want to have your grease smoking because that's it. that means that you got the grease too hot. All right, so I don't, I don't want to put the temperature gauge all in there and give you say it got to be 300 something degrees or whatever. If it if it's burning, if it's smoking, you got it too hot. All right, then you need to turn it down. All right, and don't put no chicken or nothing in that if it's smoking too because it's gonna bubble over and do some crazy stuff and you're gonna be in a whole nother thing going on. All right, so you see I put a little lyres in there. Um, I do have, I have done a test run on my seasonings, so I do have some measurements on how to season your flour, all right? So, right now, I'm just freestyling it, okay? So, but basically, you're going to have you uh, at least two cups of flour, and uh, the rest of the ingredients I'll have below, all right? So, I got my onion powder, definitely want to have that, and, um, and I also... You know, this how you learn how your flour tastes. You taste it. You taste the seasonings that you put all in there, right? And you see where it's at. You know what the flour tastes like. All right, so we got our black pepper. I'm going to add that in there. I might need to add a little more lyres seasoning salt. I might even, hey, let's just uh, add some of my new fancy seasonings in there. All right. Thanks again, Alex. Buddy from uh, my job hooked me up with this. He's in Texas. He also gave me a fajito mix one too. Excited about that too. So I put mine in the bag as you see, okay? Uh, and then I just shake it up, you know? Just mix it up, mix it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. That's all you got. Alright? Kind of easy for me anyway. You know? Alright, so we're going to see where the seasoning is, alright? We're going to give it a little pinch. All right, see, I'm there, yeah, yeah. I'm there. I'm gonna say it might, might have went a little crazy on the season salt, but I think we're good. All right, so, y'all, we gonna get this chicken, this the chicken in this bag. Oh, the dishwasher decided one to open up. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get started, because again, some other chicken ain't gonna cook itself. Alright, so we're gonna put our uh, chicken into our flour mix, alright, like so. Like I said, you wanna let the season sit into it to you know seep into the meat. You know, it's about yeah, 10 15 minutes, you know. Like if you're preparing the night before, you can do it over, you know, put it in a let it do a marinade basically overnight. Alright, so we're gonna put all that in there. Like so, seal it up, take off my gloves in, 
I'm just gonna shake it up, all right? I'm blend that all in. Okay? Oh, you ready to make a mess? I have sealed all the way. I've had have had the bag bust open in Florida everywhere, so <laughs> it just happens to you, but you ain't the only one, all right? Yeah. Alright. You just you know, add more time because now you gotta clean up all the flour that you can stick up darn well, okay? Alright y'all, so let me get that cleanse a little more, shake it up a little more. And sometimes you know I let it sit too, you know, so the uh flour can stick to the meat. Personally like if you go on buttermilk fried chicken. Oh man. Love me some buttermilk fried Alright, I get some butterfly, buttermilk, um, chicken tenders. Check that out, too. Alright, <laughs> yeah, on top of that, too. Alright, so, I think our grease is about there now. Just test it that I was taught, you know, just put a little water in it. Kind of see where it's at. And if it's like popping really crazy and violently, like I said, it's too hot. If you see some smoke coming up on it, it's too hot. All right, I think we're good right here. Okay, so we're just gonna do what I said. We're gonna do a little flash fry. All right. You don't want to put too much oil in there because I mean, kind of because we're not gonna like continue cooking the chicken all the way, so it don't have to be completely submerged in the oil. Plus, I find you know it's a waste my oil. I be happy when I use oil. I got to get a couple of uses out of it before I deem it no longer useful. <laughs> All right, when you're cooking, you flavor flavors giving them oil too. All right, okay, I think I can maybe able to get all in there because I got a nice size pan. So depending on what kind of pan you got, you may have to do this a couple times. But I got a big enough pan here. Pot so that I can add all my ingredients. All right, so get my hands off. All right. Now, while that's frying, like I said, you're gonna get a nice little crisp on that. And um, get something to get my hands off with. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so turn it up just a little bit because the chicken, the cool chicken will cool down the temperature of the of the oil, okay? Alright, so I turned it up just a little more. Alright. So you kinda wanna turn it, see where it's at. Kinda like this. So I'm gonna keep it in here for a couple more minutes or so. Maybe even five, depending on how I, I want it to look, okay? As I'm saying, this is one of those, you know, you look, make sure you got a nice little crisp on the ends. And a little brown, too, all right? Because those little bits are going to, this is going to help with making the gravy, because it's flour all right? So, I'm going to let that cook, and I'll be right with you guys, okay? Alright guys, so this is about where we want to be here, okay? So, the next step, now this is another little tip, trip that I do, a little thing that I do. So, like I said, we got the 
Goya bouillon powder, all right? And you just wanna, now, one of these packages, um, it goes up to two cups of, um, if you like put it in a pot and then you boil it, it's uh, two cups of um, broth. So, but I sprinkle mine right on in here, okay? And I use two packages, okay? Let's do this here. And I just pour that right on there like that, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna add in a little bit of this vegetable oil that I had that we fried the chicken in, okay? Kind of mix that in there. Then you want to saute that with the onion, that chicken powder, all right? Now, the reason I do this is just because it blends all those flavors in instead of me adding that water in there and having to keep stirring, stirring and mix this all up, okay? Because I don't like to use, I don't want to pre-make it and make the broth with the water, all right? I want to do it just like this, all right? This is how I do it. <laughs> all right? All right. So, you know, just give that a little whisk. You ain't got to overdo it. All right? Stir it around a little bit. Now we're going to add in the chicken, guys, all right? We're almost to the home stretch. Then I add in my chicken, like so. Don't worry about it. Like I said, you know, chicken is not supposed to be done all the way. So don't be freaking out about the blood in there, y'all. Y'all just joining in or <laughs> seeing like, what? That chicken is not supposed to be done. All right, so then you want to take your um, bell pepper and onion. You kind of just want to place it on top of some of the chicken here. All right. Now, I'm going to use, you want to, it's, like I said, it depends on what type of pieces of chicken you're using, okay? So you definitely want to make sure that the liquid, the water, is going to be um, over the chicken, all right? So this is what I do. I use two bottles of water, okay? So let me get my bottle. All right, this is going to make it easy for y'all. For those who may not have a measuring cup, you know what I'm saying? And I'm checking out my stats, and I see that I got... My, most of my dem demographic is uh, youngins in their 30s and late 30s, helping them learn how to cook. Yeah, teaching them how to cook. I'm pretty excited about that. All right. So, all right. I may need. I'm gonna add in. I need another bottle of water. Let me stir it up first, okay? So you can see where it's at, okay? But like I said, just make sure you cover your, the meat. Has to be covered. You know, at least because you're going to let this simmer for about an hour and a half into tenderness, you know, until, you know, the meat is falling off, all right? And that's the thing. You can just walk away, go chill out, have yourself a cocktail like I'm getting ready to do, and uh, enjoy the rest of this Sunday. But we have to go back to work. I got to go back to work. I don't know about nobody else. I'm just thanking the Lord that I have a job to go back to. You know what I'm saying? Whew. All right. We won't even go into that. That's true. I'm just sick of 2020. <laughs> I'm like everybody else. All right, y'all. So, uh, I'm going to add in a... I think I need to add in another bottle of water here, so... I'm going to go ahead and do that, but... You can start, you don't need to be necessary to have to use bottled water, you know. That's just my choice, alright? Alright. So I'm gonna add in a little more of this uh rosemary. I'm just gonna add in the whole stem so it uh the leaves will fall off and then I can just pull the stem out of it, alright? Alright, so that's it y'all. Um but you know you wanna get it to a nice uh simmer. You want to come back and check it, all right? We're going to come back and check it, and I'm going to show you, and we're going to see what the flavors is like, because we still ain't out the woods yet. <laughs> you just want to make sure the flavors is on point, okay? All right? So, we'll be back, guys, all right? All right, y'all. 
It's almost there. There we go. We're gonna let it cook a little bit more. You know, like I said, you want it tender, all right, y'all? All right, we'll be right back. All right, y'all. My smothered chicken is ready, okay? So let me show y'all what it looks like. Oh, yes. See, that's what you want right there. It's done, all right? Let's look how that gravy looks now. I will have to say I had to add in another pack of uh, my uh, chicken powder bouillon because I just wasn't satisfied with the taste flavor because you want to taste it, you know, you always taste your food, you know, and see where it's at. You just don't want to just serve something and don't know what it tastes like, right? You can be all bland or too salty or something, you can be all in bear so maybe not in bear but somebody eat it that they don't always tell you that it tastes nasty or you did something wrong so make sure you taste your food before you serve all right so i also made some rice okay to go on the side of this so i'm gonna put a plate together y'all you already know let's get this sample on all right All right, y'all, about an hour and a half, I let this slow and simmer, and you probably gonna do the same, like I said, depending on the cuts of uh, chicken that you have, okay? I had eight pieces of whole chicken, and you want the breast does take a little bit longer to, you know, to get a little more tender, but I'm sorry. Everything's done, I'm gonna give it a little taste, and give you guys my reaction, so you just know how good it is, all right? So you didn't already seen, we got the rice, we got our gravy. I got a little, I got chicken breast. All right. Let me get a little taste of that gravy. Mm. Put a little rice in there too. Here we go. I said grace. <laughs> I did. I always forget to let y'all know. I, I do it off camera. All right, let's go. Onion. A little patience. Nice Sunday meal. I got some leftover cabbage and some string beans from Christmas party with just five people, couples. And we were social distancing. This is a big house, but we had a little Christmas gathering. I brought some stuff home and we just gonna add that in because like I said, nothing in this house goes to waste. Alright? So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I appreciate the love. I'm sorry, talking with my mouth full with food. <laughs> but until then, y'all, what you cooking, bro?